It is a women's 115 pound matchup between Joanna Jacek and Michelle Waterson. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. Yeon Jacek is 30, Waterson is 32. Yeon Jacek will have the three inch reach advantage. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding professional record of 16 wins, six losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, the Karachi Hati, Michelle Waterstein. And now it is your opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Austin, Poland, Joanna Yachesha. All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. There you go. First one. You ready? Are you ready? Let's All go, right, go. ready to go with live action here from Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario. So here is the former UFC strawweight champion, Joanna Yale Jacek. She has broken a lot of fighters with her work rate, with her pace. There is no denying the output. Seemingly doesn't get tired. We'll see how Joanna Yale Jacek starts this challenge tonight. She lands with the left hand. All right, first round is underway, and you better watch out for the overhand punches when you're fighting an opponent of this caliber. It really has become a patented punch of hers, and something that a lot of opponents know is coming, but still can't account for. Let's see how long it takes her to find her range here tonight. Very good job of timing these shots here. Big kick, but miss. Well, she ate that straight punch to the head, and she's got to be careful here. She has shown a vulnerability by leaning right into her opponent's range. Got to find a way to get that head off the center line and do better defensively here. The karate hottie going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Nice. Avoiding the clinch here. Watterson gets stung by that leg kick. Good punch. Massive kick to the leg for her there, Joe. Big shots. Vicious combinations. Just over two minutes to go. She checked that leg kick, Joe. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Nice jab. Oh, she didn't tell about that one at all. Spinning back fist. Oh, that was a big one. That one landed hard. Oh, this could be it right here. That one hurt. How about that shin? Just missed with the left there. 20 seconds to go. 
Nice jab by Gion Jackson. Head kick. Nice combination of strikes there by Gion Jackson. She slips that left hand there. Second round, straight ahead. round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Joanna Janjicek is one of the most dynamic strikers in all of mixed martial arts. She's a six-time world Muay Thai champion and has some of the most technical Muay Thai you will ever see in mixed martial arts competition. Watterson's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Oh, she connected flush. Nice leg kick by Joanna. Oh, you know about her kick. She's got him going tonight. Try to establish that jab. Joe, nice job by her there, slipping the strike. Well, she has landed some very significant strikes, but as yet, she has still been unable to string together anything in terms of a solid... Oh! Kick to the face! Tries to pass, but cannot. Nice elbow. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Back up. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking oh. rhythm now. This could be it right here. Threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Oh, straight right. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Great exchanges. Oh, the bruise on the outside of her thigh. That is crimson now, Joe. Best of luck getting out of bed tomorrow. Good combinations landing here. Looking to avoid that left hand. And just misses with that big right hand. Nice leg kick. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Nice jab. Well, she got her head snapped back with that jab, Joe, and she continues to show a vulnerability here by almost leaning right into her opponent's range. Let's see if she can... Oh, this could be it! Huge uppercut misses. Whoa! This could be it right here. She might try to finish this fight here. Oh, she got rocked again. Big left. What a fight. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Here's a huge... Third round underway. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Waters. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Nice leg kick. Beautiful hook. Just a slip there. Oh, that cut is really opened up now, Joe. Oh! This crowd is standing on its feet. Yes, Joe, just outstanding ground and pound for her to finish her opponent tonight. She was throwing one big shot after the next, not just looking to score, but actually looking to end the fight. Let's take a look at that again. Great angle here. Boom! And that is all she wrote. Well, that's a knockout they'll be talking about for quite some time. What a moment for this fighter here tonight.
we go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop for this contest at one minute, three seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Joanna Yeojecha. All right, so congratulations to Joanna Yeojecek. She adds to her Hall of Fame legacy yet again tonight. What can this woman not do inside an octagon? She is a master of making in-fight adjustments, using her opponent's weaknesses to her advantage. Certainly doesn't hurt that she might just have the best jab in all of MMA on this UFC run.